did. Good, good day poise. for whatsoever. Just Great. took it where he needed to. Very nice poise there as a freshman. During the last screen by Brown. The drive by Mills. The rejection inside. You get a free possession. Olenek. Across the floor for Bond. To the rim. Swatted by Arupe. Manigan takes it out of there. Dermott running the floor a lot more and gets himself established quickly. A reset now. McDermott grounding baseline again. The defensive help was there for just one tick on the shot clock. The shot clock violation gives the ball to Illinois State. Carmichael blocked by Arupe. 28-27, Wichita State. Started off strong and just kind of disappeared for a while. Carl Hall has to show some leadership, strength in the paint. Allen blocked by Arupe. Out of bounds. His shooting ability, he comes in the game and he's had two assists already. Pickens. It's just four for the Blue Jays. Where does the offense come from with McDermott on the bench, Mark? Watch 34. Ethan Roggy with the pick and pop. They look for him. Well defended by White. Ten on the shot clock. Dingman aggressive. No call. And the follow by Artino. Seen a lot of action now. He's had a couple chances with his back to the basket. Got coming in tonight. Made one shot over the last four games. Hasn't really found any, hasn't found much offensive production. But his presence in the paint on the defensive end is a force. Nice look down low. Rupe. And then last touch by Evans. They're fighting for spots. Shock is playing. For a league championship, guys are grinding. Every possession counts with just over 12 to go in the second half. Time for ball game. Wichita State led or trailed in this ball game by as many as 13. Down by 11 early here in the second half. Valentine locked out of there and last touch by Wing. Wichita There's two bad things that come with that play. One, a bucket for Wichita State, but if you're Detroit, it gets this crowd into it as well. That doesn't hurt either. A Good character guy. Like it. He knew it. Helping the official out. Gant. Shot locked. Good recovery on Wilkins defensively, who has great length. Wilkins has done a great job on Anthony early so far tonight. Good Arupe. Turnovers, and that's an early turnover there by Demetri. Kind of a careless shuffling of the feet. So they got to keep the turnovers under control like they did Saturday against Missouri State. Only eight turnovers in that ball game. Simons across half court to Clark. Down low, Seth Van Dees working against the Hime Arupe. Okay, all the way to the basket. Clark with the rebound, his second. An early triple. Yeah, he's such a good penetrator. He's really good at finding the cracks of defense and getting to the basket. But if you, if you can hit an outside shot, now his defender has to come out on him. So that opens up the penetration. So real important. He hits some shots. King, 15-footer. Deflected and then rejected. Away with it right now. with the block. And Shear finally gets his first three and Paul Lusk calls a T.O. Points in a hurry. That's not a, not a great, great start. start. <laughs> Kale Cotton has stripped from behind in Indiana State with a chance to make it 13 or 14. Just in no hurry in the half court set, waiting for the defense to break down. Great ball movement. No one guy is holding the basketball. Either they're dribbling it or passing it, trying to make the defense move at all times. 
Now they'll get into it. Odom with Demetrius Williams on him. Nine seconds to shoot. Jake with the sleight of a hand hangs and thrown out of there. But we saw how the ability of Wichita State to finish half strong out of nowhere. They finished the half and they're up nine. They did it with defense. They did it with getting the basketball after they get a steal and push it up the court quick and scoring transition. They can build off that moment of finishing. Woo! Go and get it. That's Clay Anthony with the two free throws. Nine of 17 from the line. Who's splitting hairs when you're up 27? Give me that. I don't think you're going to come in here. Demetrick Williams. Deep three. Off the mark. Rebounded by Gibbs. Watch McDermott work the post. Gibbs off the McDermott screen. Echenique stuffed under the basket. He recognized the defender was locked lead and got lower and slashed right to the basket against a smaller defender. Very well executed by Clay Anthony early. When he concentrates and plays hard, he's as good as anybody. And now McDermott, number three in white, matched up with early, number 11 in black. 10 on the shot clock. Chapman came up. Got a good look at it. Evansville's largest lead has been three. Not the offset now on Colt Ryan. Boy, great move. Good recovery by Armstead. Nice. There's a block. Big one. Early. But this is a huge possession right here. 20 seconds to shoot Evansville up by five. Shockers need a stop desperately. Gail Cotton playing with four fouls. And the Shockers get their stop. Right in your college that Clee Anthony Early was named back-to-back -back National Player of the Year in New York. All the way to the basket. And the wrist direct hit by Ahime Arupe. He was shooting a poor 23% from the field, so he's enjoyed Valley play early. Kale Cotton gets one of the two free throws. Numbers for Southern Illinois. Arupe okay, with a second block. And Southern comes away after the stop. Josh Swan, the sophomore out of Atlanta, into the game. Early on the way. Bean working against Demetri Williams. Nice little switch down low. And Ahime with his third block of the ball game. Rafters with the throwdown. It's time to go now. This team needs to expand on what just happened. A great flush, a great pass. Rupe throwing it down with authority. Getting the block on the other end. And the foul. Valley. A young team not playing a lot of guys. Four guys play 30 or more minutes. Fatigue has got to set in, especially with this defense that is just picked up tenfold by the Shockers. Wichita State forced two turnovers through the first 20 minutes. They forced four here. That's another block. Oh. Another from Ahime, this time the foul. On the road last year at Davidson in the bracket buster. Don't bring it. Stop doing it. Well, he's scoring the basketball a little bit more. He's had some double-digit performances in two of his last three games. He's so strong with the basketball. Strong defensively. Holds his ground well. You see how he can tack it with strength, but yet has the finesse to drop the teardrop. Drinker blocked by Arupe. <laughs> the bounce to pick it. Good hustle inside. Advance. Very well schooled team. Maybe the most improved defensive team in the country is the Creighton Blue Jays. And Creighton and Wichita State will be on the ESPN networks later in the season.
if you're just joining us, home white, red numbers belong to the Bradley Braves. Lemon, the crosser, the block. A I love that kid. He is just so tough at big times of games, like Joe Raglan was last year. That's why Wichita State won the Valley regular season. Armstead with eight. Shiak, Shiak blocked by Arupe. That's a three-pointer, so, so he shoots a lot of threes. He makes a high percentage of them, 58%. Armstead missed it. Arupe had it for a moment off his fingertips. Here comes Drake pushing the pressure. Here's Richard Carter. Carter ball blocked. Trying to save it. Shockers had it for a moment. Wichita State fighting for it. Knocked out of bounds. 46.2 points a game. Ranks 50th nationally in scoring. And that 41% three-point clip. Second in the Missouri Valley Conference. Sixth nationally. Wichita State so far has done a pretty good job with Drake and the fact that they can shoot the threes. But you saw in the first half, they can pull up and fire at will. And they love to just chuck them up. Here's Mason. Inside, Van Deest, nice move on Arupe. Fadeaway shot blocked by Arupe. Great raw talent in the Missouri Valley. And without Hall in the lineup with the broken thumb, Flea Anthony early has to score a lot. The pass just wasn't there for Tuttle inside from Cook. There's Tuttle with the left hand. And by 10. Well, that was a huge basket for Northern Iowa, the last possession. And they'll try to put scores back to back here. No shot at all for Bohannon. Back out front, it comes to Mark Simon. Everything has been along the perimeter during this possession. Look inside for Peel, blocked by Arupe. Brandon Lopez running the point now, resting Trey Golden. Left side to Montre Edwards. Jordan McFray is in the game now as well. Edwards has it. Lopez. Stokes very high on that ball screen, which might not be a bad idea if they could get big on little. Lopez all the way to the hole, rejected. Put back up and in by Mike. Of a small battle in the war goes to Armstead. Malcolm scores, had a great game last night, as did Gassell. Enjoyed the friendly confines, the tight confines of the Galactic Ballroom. White to McCabe and swatted away early. A couple of free throws and now a three. He's an X Factor, as you mentioned, coach. Yeah, that's a great sign for the Shockers if he's going to do that tonight. McCabe wanted to find some offense early. Stop that effort. Oglesby back out to McCabe. May on the baseline. McCabe finds his way open, but the shot blocked by Arupe. Secondly, Anthony, six of seven from the line. Three threes in this game, four rebounds. You are sage and wise, Coach Z, for... Pointing him out as an X-Factor. Well, he's bearing he's fruit here in the championship. He's making me look like John Wooden tonight. May has it blocked. It's been a head factor tonight because he gives them an offensive lift off the bench. Six-point lead for Wichita State, trailed by two at the half. Made quick work of that deficit, turned that into a positive. Got a mismatch with Marvel in the post. But Armstead does a good job defensively, preventing the pass. Seven seconds to shoot. Marvel will work against the clock. And again, a root. Marvel will inbound. Oglesby in the corner. Woodbury on the boards. Arupe on the block.
saying with the fans in Wichita State, they're getting used to 20 win seasons. They've had three in a row, and you know they don't want to hear any of this rebuilding stuff. No, they don't, and they've got some newcomers right now that have shown some glimpses of being able to handle those expectations. Via splits the double team, partially blocked. I think it was blocked by Arupa. When I talk about Wichita State keeping Virginia Commonwealth in the half court, that's where they believe that they can provide some stops. You know, if they turn the ball over in, in a live ball situation, that's going to give VCU an opportunity to run the fast break, and there's virtually no stopping them there. to shoot oh, nice. swatted out of there by a